Hi there. Welcome to a project presentation on the topic mapping of methane gas emission from paddy field using geospatial techniques. As we all know, global warming is a very important problem that must be solved in the future. Carbon dioxide and methane are the most primary greenhouse gases. Methane is one of the trace gases in the atmosphere that is considered to play a major role in what is called the greenhouse effect. Some of the major sources of methane are natural wetland, paddy rice field, livestock, biomass mining, decomposition of organic waste. Paddy field is a major contributor to atmospheric methane level. Kuralmanam block panchayat of Palakkad district was adopted as the study area. We went to the study area, interacted with the farmers to know more about the paddy cultivation and we collected the GPS coordinates using an application called GPS Compass, which was installed in our mobile. Satellite data have been often used to produce paddy rice maps and we use Sentinel-1A satellite for mapping paddy area in the adopted location. Active remote sensors such as synthetic aperture radar first transmit away signals, back the signals that are returned from the earth surface. One of the most important function of remote sensing data is the production of land use and land cover map and thus can be managed through a process called image classification. The image classification is done using machine learning algorithms like CART, SVM and RF. The coding for the program are done in cloud computing platform called Google, Google Earth Engine. After classification, an accuracy assessment is done to help evaluate the performance of various classifiers. Six images were obtained from three classifiers for VV and VH polarization. Even this random forest classifier showed more accuracy and the area obtained using this classifier was used for median estimation. And the area was 7410 hectares. The median emission from paddy field was estimated as per IPCC guidelines 2006-1 method. As we can see in the table, the total emission from the study area was 0.000649 telegram median per meter square year. As we can see that this might be a small amount, but if we took the entire paddy field across India, it might be about 5 telegram, telegram median per meter square year for 43.23 million hectares of paddy field. So it is clear that we should take appropriate measures to reduce the median emission from paddy field and reduce global warming. So friend, that's all about our presentation. Thank you for sharing your time with us during this crisis period. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.